Welcome all grade 9 students to the Science Nest YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about the adverse effects of the microorganism. That means the part 2 of this lesson 1 applications of microorganisms. Let's see what are the adverse effects of microorganisms causing diseases for man, causing diseases for plants and animals, food spoilage, economical damage to non-living surfaces used as biological weapons. Those are the adverse effects of microorganisms. From, the, from this video, we are going to learn about these adverse effects furthermore. A microorganism that has the potential to cause a disease is called as a pathogen. Mosquitoes and flies are vectors which carry the pathogen to the host. Host is an organism who provides its body inside or outside as the substrate to growth of the pathogen. We will see one example. Consider about the dengue disease. Viruses act as the pathogen for the dengue disease while mosquitoes are the vectors and symptoms appear on man so man is the host for the dengue virus we are going to discuss about the first adverse effect of microorganism diseases caused by microorganisms for human we are going to discuss about virus diseases called is a virus disease it is spreading by air and the pathogen enters the body through respiratory system. Next virus disease is Dengue. It is spreading by mosquito vectors. It enters the body through the skin by mosquito bites. Let's move to learn about the next virus disease AIDS. It is spreading through blood and other floods of an infected person. Other floods means semen, breast milk and virginal floods. This enters through sexual contacts or blood transfusion. Let's move to learn about the bacteria diseases. First disease is tuberculosis. It is spreading through air. It enters the body through respiratory system. This is a disease associated with the respiratory system. Some of the symptoms are weight loss, tiredness, loss of appetite, high temperature. Next one, typhoid fever. It is spreading through polluted food and vectors such as housefly. It enters through digestive system with food. It is a kind of fever. Let's learn about protozoa diseases. First one is malaria. It is spreading through mosquitoes. It enters the skin by mosquito bites. This is also a kind of fever. Let's move to learn amoebic dysentery. Method of spread is polluted water and food. It enters through digestive system. The symptoms are fever, abdominal pain, passing stool with blood and diarrhea. Next protosoman disease is Leishmaniasis. It is spreading through vectors such as sandfly. It enters through open wounds on skin. The symptoms of that disease are weight loss, weakness, bleedings on the wounds and also enlarged liver. Next type is fungi diseases, pityriasis. Method of spread is contact of an infected person or through clothes of an infected person. It enters through skin. The symptoms are large, slightly raised, scaly patch called the herald patch on your back, chest or abdomen can be seen. Let's learn about rages. The method of spread is contact of an infected person or through clothes of an infected person. It enters the body through the skin. The symptoms are itchiness and skin redness. 
diseases caused by microorganisms to plants. The microorganisms are causing diseases not only for the humans but also they are causing diseases to plants. The first disease is powdery mildew disease. Powdery mildew is a disease caused by a fungus. The leaves, stem, flowers and fruits of the plant are affected by this disease appearing white or grey color powdery material is the main symptom of F infected parts. This disease damages every part of the tree. Next disease is late blight. Potato plant is commonly affected by this disease which is caused by a fungus. Brown spots can be seen on the leaves and later they turn into black. Then whole tree gets affected by the disease. You can observe grapes with powdery mildew disease and potato plant with late blight. Let's move to learn about wilting. In this picture you can observe a tomato plant with bacterial wilting. Fungi or bacteria cause this disease. The xylem of the plants which transports water throughout the tree gets infected from this disease. Later the xylem does not function properly due to damage. Therefore the whole plant gets withered due to poor supply of water. Let's move to learn the third adverse effect, food spoilage caused by microorganisms. Microorganisms convert the components of the food into unfavorable materials or they add toxic materials to food. Due to this reason, the nature of the food is changed. The change of physical and chemical nature of food makes the food unfit for consumption. This process is known as food spoilage. Let's learn the changes in food when spoiled. There are two types of changes, physical changes and chemical changes. The physical changes are food becomes soft, change of color, change of the taste, change of the odor. Chemical changes are fermentation of carbohydrate, putrefaction of protein, rancidification of lipids. Factors affecting for the food spoilage. There are internal factors and the external factors. Internal factors are amount of nutrients of the food, moisture, biological structure of the food. External factors are environmental temperature, environmental humidity. Humidity means the amount of water vapor in the environment and gases available in the atmosphere. Let's learn the last adverse effect application of microorganisms as biological weapons. The toxins produced by microorganisms or harmful pathogenic bacteria or virus which are used for military purposes are known as biological weapons. Bacillus anthracis, causative agent of anthrax disease is considered as most harmful biological weapon at present. These biological weapons are very much harmful to humans, other animals and also plants. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching. Subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to watch more videos related to you.